Hello and welcome back to the Daniel Gaming. I am just putting on that voice that is not actually my real voice. Uh, we're here doing vulture culture. I'll do the timing thing. So I'm gonna throw this belt. Wait, we need an awkward silence. I'm gonna throw this belt in three, two, one. There you go, as you can see I had a little Oh god. Look at that. Oh I quite like that little trick. Actually, we'll do the timing thing here. I'm going to jump in this barrel in. One. I really enjoy this. Oh, God. Right. So the idea was to get that out from under him. But no. Oh. Just randomly throw that to see what we get. I killed a little vault. Uh, I thought it'd be automated and it would go normally by itself, but obviously I was wrong. So have you. Jump up, get you. Uh, we do not need that. I think we probably would if we're trying 100% here. But obviously we're not. So it really don't matter and it really don't make a difference to the game. Um. Oh! Uh, yet again, I'm struggling. But I, I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that just shows the game is challenging me. Yeah, excuses, excuses. Come on then. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I forgot. Oh, dear. Um, okay, I'm, oh god, no, we're going to do this before the end of the level, we've got to, well, before, before the end of the level, what am I saying, before the end of the recording, uh, as I was saying, I think it was the other time, oh you've, god, well, anyway, um, the other time I was, I was, I have been playing Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Or any no sir. Which is obviously another game by Nintendo's. Let's follow the coconut. Oh, come on. He's still going. No coconut. Ah, oh, right. So it turns out as soon as it goes off screen, that's the end of the But, um, yeah, so I've downloaded many games. Uh, one of my favourites have been, uh, ooh, Crash Bandicoot Entrance 2, which is, I had that on, ooh, do I have that? Oh, I remember, don't worry. Yeah, I bought it on Game Boy Advance last year as it was the only one I missed. Shit. Should I go back and try and get it? Yeah. Of course I should. I don't even know why I need to think of that. There you go. Yeah, I bought it on Game Boy last year. It's an amazing game. On on Game Boy, I have nearly 100 it. Uh, obviously, the nostalgia factor of the game was amazing. And I'd got so I loved it. Just like this one, the nostalgia you get while playing is just immense. Or well, if you played this type of game, no many people did not play the Nintendo. Ugh! Did not play the Nintendo series. Oh well, that's another game over. Uh, God, I used to be a lot better, I swear. As you see, I've been playing it for one hour fourteen. Uh, you can do the math how long that level took me in episode 3, but, I mean, I'm getting a lot better at commentary. Anyone would say that. Because, I mean, the only awkward silences I've had is the one I need. Which, is pretty damn good. Oh! Oh, come on! I call... 
I call BS on that one. Which basically means bullshit. I was going to say it nicely, but give up. Uh, right, so I think I need to get it about there. Yep. Oh, this one's all about timing again. Lovely, DK's back. Oh! On a perfect time as well. <laughs> if I nearly lost him just after I got him, wow. Um, I don't think DK plays... Like, obviously he's the main character in the storyline and where everything is based around doesn't play a huge part. I mean, he is not necessary. You don't need him. Well, you do need him for quite a few enemies, which is, I love how they installed that into the actual game. But, he is not an amazing part. I, I prefer playing a Diddy, which many people do. As soon as I say I prefer that, I have to play as him. Brilliant. Oh, well, it's the end of the level anyway, so I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So we're going to kind of a Roman zone now. So please be ready for this awkward silence. Three, two, one. A uh, treetop town, which is, um, I don't know. It just reminds me of Star Wars, to be honest. Like the Ewok zone. Geek alert! But yeah. Oh, sorry, I, f I forgot about gravity. I forgot. I knew I should have gone for the easy one, but... That's not how I roll. That's not how I roll. Roll. But yeah, it reminds me of the Ewok stone, basically. Oh, yes. Come on. Well, I'm not quite sure how you get them picture things now, because I seem to be getting them at random intervals within the game. And, uh, as I said, I just don't know how you get them. Through combos or something? I don't know. Yes! Alright, what's this barrel do? Apparently exactly the same as all the others. <laughs> Good work. Oh, if I threw that at him and died, that would have annoyed me so much. Oh, so I understand. The idea is to get the timing correct going into the barrel as if it everything. Oh, secret zone, not complaining, gotta say. Collect the prizes. Alright, just let me have my awkward sides now. Three, two, one. Well, what are you gonna do? I don't have any complaints with that. So thank you for watching. Next time we'll be doing Forest Frenzy. Uh just thanks a lot, Lee. Uh I'm James. Goodbye.